Um, I rise to make a contribution on the major events legislation amendment unauthorised ticket packages and other matters bill 2021. I will not be opposing the bill, as Mr Andachi said, the opposition will not be. This bill, at its core, intends to address the long-standing issue of scalping. The government attempted to address this issue with the major events legislation amendment, ticket scalping, scalping and other matters bill in 2017. However, unintended loopholes and deficiencies have arisen in that legislation, which my colleague, Mr Andachi, so eloquently put earlier. And this bill goes to addressing them. Scalping has never been fair, and it is not right. We can all relate to feeling excited at the prospect of seeing your favourite band or singers upon announcement they will tour Australia, or if there is a major sporting event coming up, there is a sense of excitement, anticipation to get a tickets to attend. You log onto your computer with eager anticipation, only to find the tickets are sold out the moment they were released. That's one of the biggest issues with scalping. The day one fans, the fans that were with the bands or the, the groups that they follow from the very beginning, they're missing out at the benefits of scalpers looking to package these tickets and make a quick buck. This legislation makes a clear distinction between those who can and can't package tickets. And I think that is key. Packages can be a great way to book an experience. You don't have to worry about where you'll eat or where you'll stay. Under these proposed laws, a balance is struck between the good packages and the packages by those who aren't authorised. This bill should prevent consumers paying thousands for a $200 ticket to the footy, coupled with a pie and a cheap motel for the night. In Victoria, we have sport for choice when it comes to major events. Most recently, we've hosted the tennis, and prior to 2020, you could catch a concert, sporting event, arts exhibition or car racing at a number of our major recreation centres. This state really does have so much to offer and we really need to get that back after the longest lockdown in the world. In Eastern Victoria, we have the Phillip Island Motorbike Grand Prix and a number of these events in the smaller communities that may not be major but are meaningful events for those that live there in the community groups that dedicate time to organise them. Who doesn't love a day on the green in the Yarra Ranges? part of my region. These events are not only signif bring significant economic value to our regions, but they are an integral part of the community and a wonderful place for people to come together. We really do have so much to offer once we open up fully again. It is important that we support these events and the organisers to get Melbourne back up there as the most livable city in the world.